In suburban Chicago, a chihuahua survives an owl attack, and a notorious Russian prison is set to get tanning beds. Let's talk about that. Good morning, Chia Lincoln. It is January 17th, 2011. Nope. 18th, that was yesterday. Living in the past again, Link. January 18th, not 17th again. We're not gonna repeat that. Welcome. You know, first of all, I wanna thank all of you who commented on yesterday's video and suggested the Daya, or the Daya, I don't know how you pronounce it, cheese. Believe it or not, totally independently of all your comments, my wife went out last night and she got me another kind of cheese. Very loving wife. And she got this Daya cheese because she'd heard that it was good. And I just took that stuff and I was just eating it. It was shredded cheese. It was good? And I was just eating it out of the package at 10 o'clock last night. Okay, so, so there's hope for you not being vegan but going non-dairy. Yeah, so well, thank you for he, your comments. He knows, commenters, that he's not going vegan. He's just going non-dairy. But that's, that's a form of non-veganness, yes. right? Let's rip some headlines from the news, if that's what you call it and talk about this owl attack. In Crystal Lake, Illinois. An owl attack has left a four pound chihuahua with a healthy fear of the dark. The attack happened with, with Chico the Chihuahua was out for a walk with his owner, George, in the Chicago suburb of Crystal Lake last week. Calamora says they were walking down the street when a great horned owl swooped down and tried to fly away with their three year old dog. A horned owl, that's like a mythical beast. Yeah, I mean, it would have been scary enough if it was a regular owl, but it's an owl with horns comes down, I think scoops him up with one, gouges him, or whatever you call it, gores him, bores him. Gores him. And then picks him up and takes him away. How many horns are we talking about? I mean. Could be like antlers. It doesn't, it didn't say? A seven, a 14 point owl is the version of the story that I like to go with. There's a good mythical beast name for you community members. That's scary, you know? You're walking your little four pound dog and. Yeah. I, well, I think what I would be thinking is, I need to switch pets. I should, this owl should be my pet. If I could tame this owl and start walking it around, then, you know, I would be very cool. But the, he's okay, though. That's the thing that people are wondering. They're wondering, did this dog die? I oh, think, oh, yeah, I was I, very concerned about the chihuahua. He said he has a healthy fear of the dark, which means he's still living and. But see, he says the owl kept a firm grip on Chico's leash as the bird dragged the dog across the sidewalk and he managed to scare the owl away. You said the owl kept a firm grip on the leash? The owl was walking the dog? It swooped in with its horns and started walking the dog? <laughs> Maybe that's the owner they're talking about. I think the owner continued to keep the dog on the leash and then he scared the owl away. Guys, I've never been attacked by a bird. I'm, Maybe the or an maybe, owl. You know what? It, maybe the owl did grab hold of his leash and the owl just wanted a pet. The owl wasn't gonna hurt this thing. The owl was like, he was a very wise owl. I need a pet. I need a four pound chihuahua. It's all. all Horned owls talk, in my experience. Yes. They're kind of sleepy yet wise <laughs> and horned. Hmm. You ever been attacked by a bird? I said I hadn't, no. Uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't plan to. I either. have been chased by a goose. I think a lot of people have been chased by geese. A geese is not a bird. Is it a mammal? Yeah. It's No, it's a bird. All right, I'm just, Link. I'm just testing Why don't you. you tell us about this story here? I've been given the bird. In traffic, many times it's very, you know, it's violent. Yeah, you know, I, well, I'm not going to do it, but you know, a proper bird, if you're going to give it, 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 it starts, it goes, the, the, the fingers on either side well, give, of the bird give, start give here. The fake bird. If you give a, if you give a bird that like, I was given the bird by a trucker, and it was like, it wasn't this finger, it was the real bird finger. I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody, but it was like he pulled it. There was no other knuckles showing, like. This knuckle wasn't showing, like it's supposed to be but like that. you're supposed to show the knuckles. That's a violent bird. I've been attacked by the most violent form of bird, the well, one know, where the other fingers go all the way down. Well, you know, that's why they call it the bird, because in medieval times, instead of doing that, they would like pull a hawk out of their their overalls and right. whoosh, it would come at you to offend you. Right. And, and then, then they were like, this is so impractical. Let's come up with a symbol for this. And they were like, this, but then they changed it to the real bird. But they would make the hawk sound. <laughs> Yes, they had overalls. In I think that was times. more more like a macaw. Notorious Russian prison set to get tanning beds. A centuries-old Russian prison notorious for primitive conditions will soon offer inmates a new perk: tanning beds. Sounds like a good idea. Why? Dashurov was quoted as saying, "This is the prison warden spokesman, I guess." 
He was quoted as saying the tanning beds are meant to compensate for inadequate sunlight in the cells. But inmates will have to pay, and at 10 rubles, that's 33 cents a minute. Whoa. That's a sizable fee in a country where the average monthly salary is well under $1,000. First of all, just an observation about this whole idea. We all know what goes on in, in prisons. So I would think that being the man with a golden tan is like not a good strategy. Well, just think about just think about going into prison. Like it's your first day in prison because it's not just the man with the golden tan. Everybody's got a golden tan. Who, who's oh no, like, only the people any... who can afford it. Because then it's like okay, it, now all of a sudden the guy with the golden tan not only is he rubles. more attractive, but he's rich. He's a rich prison dude. It's like I mean, do you want to be a target? Russian people who make decisions about prisons, which I guess you could call the prison administration. What are you thinking, people? This is what I would do. Whenever I find myself in a Russian prison, I'm gonna make sure I have lots of money. I'm gonna get super tan, and then I'm gonna convince all the other prisoners that I'm some sort of alien or superhuman to keep their distance. Like an orange man? Orange man. <laughs> <laughs> orange Russian imprisoned man. Keep your distance. That's my Russian. Like your orange man, I was at Tremo Chernobyl. Keep your distance. I, I, Keep your distance. I have radiation coming off of me at all times. I'm sorry, uh, Russian fans, uh, if you're watching for my, my terrible impersonation. Um, now, tanning beds, I'm gonna have to admit this, I have been to one once. Really? And it wasn't for my psoriasis, because you can treat your psoriasis in tanning beds, believe it or not. Tanning beds are not good for you people. I went. What, when did you go to a the tan? Two days before I got married. What? I just thought, you know what? You're supposed to be tan when you get married. You know, I just thought that's what it. You know, it's just not. This is not a Russian prison, well, people. They, they this are, is marriage. I need to be tan. So basically, you you were kind of applying the thinking that a girl who's going to the prom, you, you're kind of thinking in the same zone. Yeah, I was like, I've never been. I'll probably never go again. One time, you get married one time. They're gonna if you take do your right. photo. Yeah. You need to be tanned. But you know, you go one time, you, not, there's no difference. Well, you run the risk of getting burnt and then, you know, that makes your you know, that makes your wedding night kind of precarious. That's true. It's like, uh, Unless you bring aloe vera. <laughs> Moving along. Let's check in with, uh, well, you know what? Before we do that. Yeah, we wanted, we wanted to uh, just invite you guys, if there's something you want us to talk about here on Good Morning Chia Lincoln, just let us know in the comments. Obviously, we're reading the comments. You guys are helping us know what cheese to eat, uh, how to give the proper bird, and other things. Uh, you can do that right here on this video on YouTube. You can do it at facebook.com slash Rhett and Link. And you can also tweet at us at Rhett MC and Link Lamont. There's two different tweeters. I think we should start a new website called Hawk. Hawker. That already exists, doesn't it? No, that's Gawker. Oh. Let's check in with... Uh, Search Roo was already taken, so... Yeah, that's right. Chia Lincoln. Um, not a lot of change from yesterday. There may be one or two new sprouts. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get full sproutage on top. I severely apologize to everyone. We had some people tell us that the kinkiness of his hair versus... The, like He has just a very wiry hair that just kind of shoots out as opposed to having a very tightly wound Chia Fro. Uh, the reason that he doesn't have that is because we're not giving sunlight or water in correct proportions. He's got a he's got a cheek antenna over here. That's got to count for something. It's like a mole. All right, people. The fun continues. We're committed to this as long as Chia Lincoln is committed to us. Every weekday, right here. Tune in. Tune up. Car just passed. <laughs>